I really enjoy my life, man. I, I really enjoy what I'm able it to do. It looked fun as hell being you, Terry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, what up, y'all? You're watching This Is 50.com. Man, yo, you're doing your thing on 106 you. Important and whatnot, man. Uh, so how did you get started? What were you doing before you got there? Oh, uh, man, it's, it's been a long grind. You know, I went to, to college for this. I studied communications, and mm -hmm. um, I have my, my bachelor's degree in journalism and, and, and communications. Uh, and I started off on radio when I was, like, 15 years old, you mm -hmm. know. So this is, has been an aspiration to be in, in, you know, the media and to do entertainment and to eventually go into acting. We're having yeah, fun We today. are having a we good time. Fun. We're hula hooping right now. You know, post-graduation, I went through a couple different jobs. Um, couldn't really find my way. And I auditioned for BET. They had a new Faces talent search. I actually got cut the first time. Went to a second audition, and um, I made the cut on that one. I interned for BET for almost about a year, just you know, studying everything that's going on, learning all the technical aspects of what happens. And uh, once Big Tigger, who was, was holding it down for 106, uh, he got a huge job um, down in DC. And uh, I've been I've been on the show ever since. Yeah, and happens. you make it look really, really, really easy. You not only are you a great personality and whatnot, but you you rap. I've seen you know what I'm saying go at it. You know what I'm saying back and forth. But look, I'm not, not gonna say that on this. Uh, this. Yo, dude, you are a rapper, man. You a rapper? Okay. Uh, but they want to know, can you teach us how to dougie? Yeah! Whenever you want to do something, you just got to keep on going after it, mm -hmm. no matter what it is, because you're going to get told no a lot. And it, it's not about all those no's. It's about that one time you get told yes, and then making the best out of the opportunity once you have. So if you weren't doing this, what would you be doing? This. I'd have figured a different way to get to where I, I want to be. Acting was always the end game, so, you know, maybe if I wasn't hosting 106, I'd be on a sitcom somewhere, or, you know, I, I'd be doing something within the, the acting entertainment world. Mm -hmm. but, I, you know, I've, I've, I've been doing this my whole life. You know, mm -hmm. this is all I know. How fast are you growing right now? The oh. last time I saw you was, you was, you was at my chest. And now I know, like, I'm, I've been growing like a foot a week. Now, we all have our perceptions of who we think Terrence J is, but who is Terrence J? You know, I believe in God. I believe that anything is possible. I just want to be successful. I want to have a good time and enjoy my life, and I want to make sure everybody in my crew is eating. It's the best advice you ever got. Is not to let anybody else's opinions of you uh, dictate your path. Don't let anybody's attitude, don't let anybody's comments, don't let anybody's words, you know, steer you off of the direction that you're going. Mm -hmm. People, whether they're in a great space or a bad space, are going to have their own feelings on themselves and their own, you know, positive feelings and insecurity feelings as well. And a lot of times people take that energy and they get depressed or they, you know, they shy away from doing things because they take that energy from other people. And I just, I'm a firm believer that if you believe in yourself, anything is possible. Anything, anything is achievable and just don't worry about what anybody tells you. Like, just keep on going after your goals no matter what they are. Where Worst advice you ever got? The worst advice I ever got? I never really look at things as if they, they were bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. I've gotten terrible relationship advice or, or terrible, you know, career advice. But in the end, I, I know that God has always had the path for me. Mm. And so I had to go through those bad relationships or those bad career mistakes or those, you know, those bad terms mm. in, in order to get to where I'm at now mm. at a level of maturity. So. I can't really pinpoint, you know, one piece of bad advice that I got. And I know that everything was necessary and vital for me to be who, who I am and where I am today. Mm. What's everything happening? Everything is good. Everything is amazing. You're doing the acting right now. I saw you in the love for sale and everything. Mm. Yeah, that was really dope, and you, you would hail it down. It's 97.3, hip-hop and R&B. Listen, I got these fools outside of my door right now that are trying to get me to listen to their demo. What are you working on right now? Um, you know, we, we've had a good couple of years, man. I got a great management team and a great uh, agency at William Morris, and, and we did Burlesque with Cher. Uh, we did Stomp the Yard 2, and now I got my first feature film, um, Steve Harvey's book adaptation of Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man. Mm -hmm. It's going to the big screen, so mm -hmm. now it'll come out next year. Uh, the cast is, is incredible. It has Kevin Hart, Taraji P. Henson, Gabrielle Union, uh, Lala Vasquez, um, uh, Michael Ely. I mean, it, it's an amazing cast. I don't want to miss it. Megan Goods in it. I don't want to miss anybody, but a really dope cast, and, and I'll be in the mix with that cast. So I'm really, really excited about that film. Here he is. Tyrese, y'all make Any regrets or anything that, you know what I'm saying, you feel like you, you wish you could have did over again? I don't get to spend as much time with my parents as possible. Mm. I would love to see my mom more. I would love to see my dad more. 
I would love to see my family more. Mm -hmm. I would love to be able to go back to North Carolina and just chill with my frat brothers more. And you know, I don't, I don't have a lot of time to do that because I'm always on the go. So I, I guess, yeah, that would be my biggest regret. Craziest groupie story. <laughs> the women go crazy over Terrence. I was in Gladys Knights down in Atlanta, and I remember I got up, the, the, you know, I was flirting with the, the waitress a little bit, and I went to the bathroom, and then when I came like out of the stool, the, the waitress that I was flirting with was in the bathroom, talking about she was there to, to change the toilet paper. So we ended up exchanging numbers inside the bathroom, and that was that was pretty crazy. And the rest of them I probably can't say on, on camera. Anything you wanna say? To the people, man, before we get out of here, Terrence. Um, what I want to say to you is you're a really good interviewer. It's tough to to memorize all that you, you had going into this because you don't have any cue cards or any teleprompters. So uh, yeah, you did a great job as an interview, uh, just as a note. And just just if you're out there, man, I just I appreciate the support. You know, everybody that follows me on Twitter, everybody that watches the show, uh, thank you. Thank you for all of the feedback, whether it's good or bad or indifferent. You know, I just appreciate it. I'm just young and I just want to become a better person and a better man and just, you know, do what I can in, in the name of God and just, you know, help people. And uh, and I just, I just appreciate the energy and uh, I'm going to continue to, you know, stay on my grind. Thank you.